Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the National Museum of Finland. Well, this is our final conference of our Erasmus Plus project. And my name is Jukka Koskela. And I am Hanna Kaisa Jussila. Welcome. We are basically here. Very delighted to see so many people in the auditorium, but also watching the live stream. And uh, we would have the very nice pleasure to welcome to the stage Ms. Hanna Kosonen, the Minister of Science and Culture. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Dear all, uh, it's my great pleasure to open this Doping e-learning tools conference on doping in recreational sport and to welcome you to Helsinki and Finland. I'm glad you had to, uh, so much courage to join us here at this target time of the year. More than 10 years ago, we had the first debate in Finland about whether we have a new public health problem doping in recreational sport. The matter was investigated and found to be a rather marginal phenomenon occurring in certain professions and subcultures. Among the total population, about 1% of adults had used doping substances at some stage of their lives to improve their physical performance, strength or appearance. But even though it seemed like a minor concern, we could not ignore it. After all, doping was likely to become more widespread as it already had elsewhere in Europe. We approached the problem from the point of view of preventing harm and disseminating information. And uh, in cooperation with uh, the Minister of Social Affairs and Health, the Minister, Ministry of Education and Culture decided to set up a service to disseminate objective information on the impacts of doping use. In Finland, the A Clinic Foundation had been providing a similar service for substance use prevention. The foundation had gained solid expertise in the field, so the ministry asked if it could launch the new anti-doping service, Doping Link. That was almost 10 years ago, and the ministry is still very pleased with the decision it made. Doping Link, doping link has become an established service with a wide reach. Sports people who need help and advice, family and friends of doping users and professionals in many fields have found the service and use it frequently. Doping Link now offers a broad range of services. From the outset, its activities and expertise have been strengthened by excellent cooperation with the Finnish Centre for Integrity in Sports responsible for anti-doping efforts in competitive sports. Doping Link's success can be measured with research data, which suggests that the number of doping users has not increased in Finland, but has remained at its previous levels. Finland has really benefited from international cooperation in this field. Through international research initiatives, we have received valuable information on doping all across Europe. And with the help of Nordic and Erasmus Plus funded European projects, we have created networks that facilitate the exchange of practices in preventing and addressing the use of doping in recreational sports and in reducing the harm it causes. This information has also become available outside the networks. The topics discussed at this conference 
are at the heart of our anti-doping cooperation in recreational sports. The main objective of this event is to present tools for education, prevention and harm reduction, as well as to hear about the latest research in the field. This 24 months Erasmus Plus sport project is a significant step forward in improving doping prevention strategies in the EU. Both the project and conference bring together a geographically wide spectrum of stakeholders with diverse expertise in respective countries. With these words, I trust that this conference will shed more light on how we can prevent the use of doping substances in recreational sports. I wish you a fruitful conference and a pleasant Christmas season. Thank you.